Advent Health officials tell us right now 530 people are being treated in their central Florida hospitals. For some perspective, in August, they saw close to 1,700 patients. But doctors say they are keeping an eye on positive cases among kids. News 6's Amanda Castro has the story. So I think we're all uh, very encouraged by these numbers. Dr. Tim Hendricks with Avon Health Center Care says relief is in sight. For the first time since the spring, the urgent care is seeing a drop in its positivity rate. We've gone from a 26% positivity rate at the peak, um, which I believe was in the middle of July, and now it's fallen to 8.8% as of today. He says Avon Health uses the positivity rate to forecast COVID hospitalizations. Reporting 530 patients are currently being treated for COVID across Central Florida, down from the peak of 1,700 at the end of last month. Avon Health says the last time hospitalizations were this low was mid-July. Dr. Hendricks says he's keeping a close eye on the positivity rate among children, telling us kids account for one out of every five positive tests right now. So they still are getting infected with COVID. Um, they're still transmitting it. And a COVID vaccine could be available for younger kids by November. Earlier this week, Pfizer gave the FDA its research on the effectiveness of its shot for kids ages 5 to 11. Dr. Hendricks sharing this message with parents who may be hesitant to get their younger children vaccinated. Um, I think that educating the parents, knowing that this has gone through a thorough process of testing, uh, verification, and these are safe and highly effective vaccines. Adding as we head into the holidays and winter months, it's important to get as many people vaccinated so we can avoid another surge. Even though numbers are declining, this is not over. As we've learned with these types of pandemics, they will come in waves. And there's a good chance that we'll have a winter wave because this is a seasonal virus. In Orlando, Amanda Castro getting results. News 6.